happy friday night everybody happy christmas eve 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 hey i hope that your friday night is going really well normally i do not stream on friday nights uh normally i go out with my friend rico i go and do something else on friday nights friday nights are for other things tonight however the folks over at studio dry dock were good enough to send me a key for their cozy game wildflowers and uh now well heck i'm gonna stream it if this is your first time here, your first time watching, my name is Steve. I stream a variety of different games, a lot of cozy games. I've been working on uh, Coral Island recently uh, and loving that. You'll find that on the Spirit Color Studios YouTube channel. And uh, I'm also streaming a colony sim called Going Medieval. About to wrap that up, though. For now, we're going to take a swing at Wildflowers and see what it's all about. Do you want to say I have not hit new game yet? I have not played this game at all. Hopefully it's not going to be too rocky. Hopefully it's not going to be difficult to watch. Either way, let's do it. Interesting thing about Studio Dry Dock, there's a lot of Sims in their DNA. A lot of folks there worked on Sims 3 or Sims Free Play. I think their art style is very cute. If I understood that what I read, the, the game is very, very, or is, is all about inclusivity. Uh, and the, uh, all of the characters in it, or nearly all of them are fully voice acted, which blows me away. I think it's awesome. There's also a kitty cat. The only thing that I know about this game is that the main character is set. You actually don't create it. Her name is Tara, and she is a farmer by day, and she's training to become a witch by night. That's really all I know. I'm guessing that's Tara. Excuse me. Would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Are you not going to talk to us? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> No, no, uh, I don't. No, I don't remember much from that time. I don't know who this is, but I totally think she was checking me out. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. All right. We're going to change one thing on this. I have it set so I have Go to actually click you, for it to and follow the path. proceed on in dialogues. And I don't want to do that. I changed my mind. Let's change that. Uh, I We don't know what Embargo Fish Sticks is. Uh, while I was setting up the audio for it earlier, we came across this. I have no idea what that means. Uh, okay. No, we do not want to advance through the dialogue uh, manually. Okay. So we're supposed to go up the stairs. What's this? Soft and Sons Fish and Tackle. Wow. They have unique uh, hours of operation. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 to 5, and Saturday, 11 to 5. All right. Who is this dude? What's up? Hey, bro. Hey, but uh, I I'm not a bro. Uh, my name's Kai. Check it out. This is my kiosk. I'm here, you know, whenever. It's like a pop-up shop. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off island. Take a look, but like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment. You know? Okay. All right, Kai. Um, and we got uh, half a heart with Kai, I guess. And and we could can we buy something from him? And what do you what do you have to to sell? 
It doesn't look like I can buy anything right now. Okay, if I click that, there we go. All right, I have 50 coins, so I could buy cinnamon or saffron, and that's all he's got. Kai, I don't think I'm going to buy anything today. All right, but I'll see you around. We're going to go up the stairs, and we are going to hang a left. Can I... Uh, up the birds don't want to play with me. All right, fair enough. I think we just continue going left. Let's see, who's this? Ah, hello there. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi, I'm Hazel Wild's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Or Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. Okay, so we don't have to turn ore into bars ourselves. We can just bring them to her, and she'll take care of that. What does she have for sale? Okay, we could buy ingots from her, or so it would seem. Or maybe you just click this if you want her to make it. Iron watering can, copper axe. Okay, all right. Well, I don't think we have enough money for any of that. Or I could sell that stuff. I, I don't know that I want to sell it. Do I have anything in my inventory right now? I don't know that I can check that. All right, can I... What else does she have to say? Is that it? Okay. This must be like, this must be saying that like my farm is that way. I mean, that's not bad. For a little starter farm, that is much nicer than the starters in like Coral Island or Sardu. Although that bridge is a little rickety. Hey, who's that person on my farm? I wonder if her, I think it was her grandmother. I wonder if she's still around. It would seem maybe so. Come on, put your back Blasted, into it. rusty old crank. Huh. I ought to blast you. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. Ha 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 ha! Look at it go! Uh... Grandma? Oh, it's you! Oh, my little honeybee! Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but... Maybe you can show me the ropes. In perhaps uh, some sort of tutorial? Well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. All Just right. head over to one of the garden beds there and, and scatter them about. Can do. Uh, all right. Plant a potato seed in the garden bed by the farm. Okay. So. That's my inventory. I don't see that I have like a. A quick action bar. I guess is it something where like. I just click on it and then it will. Give me options. Yeah. Okay. You're natural. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. You can fill it up at this old well. Okay, fill up the watering can at the well. Roger that. Nice that it is... There now. Very quick that and painless there. It. I like that. It'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. 
How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, <laughs> if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. I think we ran you right by that earlier. It. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. Ah, uh, that's just nice. I'm so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. All right, All so. All right, here I am, farming. <sighs> this place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. I do like all the voice acting in it. That's really neat. Okay, wait for, okay. So we have a little quest. The fungus among us, very, very funny. And meet the mayor. So we have some quests. Can I jump over that? I can. Is there anything else over here? Can I, are there like forageables? I can pick up wood. Okay. Can I, what about rocks? I don't know that I'm going to need wood or rocks, but I have a feeling, I mean, at least not right away. I have a feeling that eventually I most certainly will. Hey, I remember this mine. It looked way less run down when I was seven, but so did everything around here. I guess these are the mushrooms. Fantastic. You know, we may as well grab. Oh, I can pick flowers also. So there are forageables. All right. What else is there? Did we did we run by anything else that we might pick up that might be valuable to have? It is going to take a little while to get used to not having like a, a quick action bar here. That's going to take a little bit. Can I just pick weed? Is that weed or weeds? I'm guessing it was weeds. I don't think it's that kind of game. Can I catch the bug? No, I apparently cannot. All right. All right, should we should we go to the town hall first before we do that? Yeah, let's do. It's only 10.50 a.m. There wasn't a loading screen there, but I do appreciate uh, that it was that it was relatively quick. It wasn't something where I actually had to wait. All right, so it's not going to be either of those two houses. I think it might be down here. There's some kind of jeweler up there, I think. All right, so there is a butcher here. All right, closed Friday, Sunday, and Monday. And open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 9 to 5. Humane butcher services available upon request. At least that is not human butcher services. All right, who's this dude? What's up? Hey, how's it going? I'm Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Oh, hey, Bruno. 
Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish oh, just hadn't been biting tab. lately. But I got Otto to float me for a week. I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotaler, is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. I kind of like Bruno. Are you Bruno. German? Uh, and also psychic? It is uh, mouse and keyboard. <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually Although speak you much of my could native play tongue, it with a controller. I try to keep up some traditions. The game is available and for just Steam, a picture and it's also grandma available when for she was a girl. the I Nintendo am? Switch, yeah. and it's available on she the Apple Store. So I guess there too. is a, a mobile Hasn't changed version. much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? I imagine you could play it with a controller. Um... I don't have mine plugged in, or I could take a swing at it. But it most certainly will work with uh, mouse and keyboard. All right, we haven't talked to this person yet. Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim, I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh, so what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job, sociopaths <laughs> on dating apps? Uh, oh, um... The job. I got let go from my job in the city, so I came here for a fresh start. I get it. I came here to try something new, too. I run the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Oh, I wonder cool. if that's going to be a nice thing that we'll you. wind up doing. Okay, so we've met Kim, the butcher. We still need to meet the mayor, and that is what our, our quest is. I mean, this even looks kind of like a church. League of the Conscious Mind. All right. And they're, God, they're open every day but Wednesday and Friday. I kind of want to know. All right, what's the League of the Conscious Mind all about? Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Messenger? Hey. As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. Okay. Messenger. All right. What is this? Oh, that's the mayor's residence, but it's not Town Hall. I'm, I'm guessing we're supposed to meet him, like, at Town Hall. You know, we haven't taken a look at the map yet. Uh, my guess is this is the building that's Town Hall. So I'm going to continue west, and then we'll go up the stairs again, and hopefully that'll that'll get us there. The, the game is deliciously weird. And it's going to get so much weirder. Like, witchcraft is a very big thing in this. Like, Tara is going to become a witch. At least as I understand it. The mayor looks oh, rather stern. Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter. I, I am 100% feeling uh, hi, his uh, pink shirt with the yes, blue tie. That's, that's me. If there is and anything the blue you need, with a gray I'm the waistcoat? one to speak to. We're uh, a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. <laughs> to that it's end, kind of like we want you to meet everyone, down. so we've made it a little game. A little game? The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus a little bit creepy. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone. So I understand it. There are about 30 NPCs in this. Oh, no, that's not there. That's only 22. That's nothing. Heck, I'm over a third of the way there. Okay. Have we met whoever is in here? Nope, we have not. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Oh, yeah, 
Yes, I thought that was you. What with this uh, being uh, a, a bakery and all. <laughs> I, yeah. I see Wiz says I that it's uh, obvious. Uh, she sees My little claim to fame. Neil McDonough as the bay as the mayor. Okay, what can we buy here? I could buy banana bread. No, the only thing I could afford would be bread or a hot cross bun. Oh, wait. Recipes for bakers. That is probably something I will need at some point. But right now, I don't have that much money. Okay, Angus, we'll see you later. All right, that's 10 people. Uh, okay, so the jewelry place is only open Wednesday through Saturday. And honestly, I don't think I need to go there. I mean, just peeking through their windows, I don't see anybody there. So I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. I do need to get those mushrooms back home to the uh, farm so that Grandma can make them into soup. A guy named Angus Stetson should be the butcher and not the baker. I 100% agree. Uh, here we go. Mushrooms. Ah, spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? <laughs> you seen well, any acorns? work? Those are nice, plump ones. You're a natural forager. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the support rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. Oh, I thought that was dinner I'm tonight. I'm tired just now. All right. Just making something out of them. That's fine. I think we're done with that. All right. I do really like the... Uh, I, it seems like an almost limitless to inventory. There doesn't seem to be anything here which indicates, like, you know, that I'm carrying 10 out of 20 things. Or that I can only have five, <clears throat> excuse me, five slots for building materials. Can I take photos of stuff? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. There, we'll do that. All right. Can I, can I move it around? Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's too much fun. There, that's what it's going to be. Um, We'll just save it. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't want to spend any more time goofing around on that. Because boy, I could. I'm going to walk around the farm a little bit here and see if there's anything else of interest like that this will will most certainly take maybe that's the beach maybe we could go to the beach okay not necessarily the beach well uh, yeah it's the beach there's got to be more people here there's also a wrecked lighthouse and somebody else's, wow, far more productive farm. Look at that. Ooh, what do we have here that I could take? Witch weed. I kind of, I kind of wonder if alchemy is going to be a thing. Oh, look at her hair. Oh my gosh, you've got to be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. 
it's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. I Pleased like to meet Violet. You, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. I do. I do, Violet. I want to be pals. But now I've got to go and meet, like, everyone. So... But we will we will hang out sometime. Can I go to whose house is this? All right, it's apparently not mine. Can I? I can't catch the crab. All right, we'll talk to this dude. This is the jewelry shop. Guy. Hey, I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? No, he knows well, how to say Ashante. No. I speak Spanish though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. All right, that's 12. Kitty. There's a kitty. I want I want to pet the kitty. Oh. Uh, I like the kitty. Nope, nope, nope. We're not done. Wait. Oh, what a good purr. We're going to play uh, the pet oh, the cat game cat. for a little while longer. All right, I think that's enough. Okay. Those three people have pretty fantastic how Oh, can I pick this up? I can. I'll bet I can sell that. And I'll bet Nana's. Okay. What about... What was that? Seaweed. Okay. And another shell. And then... Oh, we've already talked to Kai. Hi, I'm sorry. We're we're interested in meeting people and picking things up right now. So we'll have to talk another time. I saw some people up here on the bri bridge. Bridge, not breach. Hello. I don't think I've seen you before. I run Cafe Moretti, the diner in town. Stop by any time. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm I'm new here. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. Welcome. I hope you come by soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. All right. That is Sophia. <laughs> and who is this beautiful creature I see? Whoa. I, uh, what? Uh, I'm Tara. Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't wow. mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow. Thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. It's only a she's tiny lucky to have such bit a weird family. that she's well, I mean, hitting on Tara. To be honest, we trying to get a feel for how old Tara is. A while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Okay. 14. There's just eight more people. So we met Amira, who is a doctor and Sophia who owns the diner. All right, who is this? Hi, I'm Tara, Hazel Wild's granddaughter. Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. You used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yes. And grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. You're Thomas, right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't wow. mean. Your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving here and picking up a pitchfork. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick. Wow. Screw you, Thomas. What a jerk. All right. I've decided that Thomas is kind of a wanker. I don't think he and I are going to be pals. Not like me and Violet, who are going to be besties. Look at all this. To, can I can I pick these? I apparently cannot. All right. So we don't know what that is. We're just going to leave it.
Let's see. I think we have... Have we gone up here and, like, looked into these areas? Or is this where Violet was? I think this is where we ran into Violet. Yeah, okay. I would like it if there was a sprint option. I imagine this is as fast as, as Tara's little legs can carry her. I think I was supposed to get some seeds, wasn't I? All right, wait for potato plant to produce potatoes. She's making something there. And I have to go meet seven more people. All right, show me a hint. Use your map to visit areas you haven't been to yet. Okay, fair enough. So there's a little fog of war to the north and then way over to the northeast. So let's go to the north and see if we run into anyone. Well, there's a bridge. That's not good. This bridge has been declared unfit for use. The path to the mountains is off limits, Parker. I imagine that there is going to be a quest before long to get that fixed. It's a collapsed mine shaft. <laughs> Looks like I can't get into it until it's fixed. Well, all right. So we can't go up there to dissolve whatever that fog of war holds. Let's go way to the east then and see what that holds for us. Maybe at least we'll run into some new folks. Or, I mean, worst case scenario, maybe another kitty cat or two. Okay, nope, that's just those houses. There's the mayor. Have we been to the the florist here? Oh, Vi Violet is the florist, okay. And she's closed today. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday are her days of operation. All right, so here's the school. <gasps> Three kids. And we'll get all three of them in one time. Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> okay, that's 16. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> you yes, shouldn't talk to I, me, then. I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? Okay. Hello. And who's this last are one? Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Lena. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. I don't remember nice which one Lena too. is. I'm Finn. Okay. Can we go in? No, we can't go in there. Is there is there something in here that like shows me all the different people? Okay, who's Lynn? Oh, Lena. That must be it. That that was who she they're talking about. Okay. So there's four more. Four more people left. Can we steal flowers? No, we cannot. Have we met this guy? Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. Ah, uh, you must be Hazel's granddaughter. It sure is great to meet you. I'm Parker, Lena's husband. She asked me to stop by your farm oh, in a day or two and show you around. This is the guy who wrote You'll the thing that said we Lena's couldn't go over the bridge. Is. It's hard to run a farm without it. I'll be by before you know it to point it out to you. Awesome. Okay, what? Tool shed, vegetable patch, and nothing else. All right. Well, we don't have enough money to buy anything yet anyway, so we're gone. Thanks very much. 
and we go, oh, we can go this way. What is this? Fairhaven Woods. I don't mind telling you, Fairhaven Woods have a bit of a, a magical look to them. A bit of an enchanted forest kind of vibe. Also, red mushrooms, I'm sure they're fine. What is that? A peanut. That, that is a big peanut. All right, there's some dude over here. Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. Whoa. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, and you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. He, he has kind of a weird, like, Santa Claus vibe. Okay, what do you have? Oh, I could sell things here. All right. Okay, so I could go here and I could sell some stuff. Like I have, uh, I could sell a thistle for two. Let's sell these shells. I wanna sell all of them. And then let's sell both of my seashells. The shop can now carry more stock. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe the toadstools are going to be, like, necessary for something. So I'm a little reluctant. What does he have? I mean, you can buy toadstools here. And seaweed and mandrake and seashells. Okay. Well, uh, good talk, Shelby. Thanks very much. We'll see you around. Two more people to meet. Mandrake. Oh, this was the fisherman. We we spoke we spoke we spoke to him earlier. I guess he's busy fishing right now and can't chat. Hmm. There's a plaque that reads, "This beloved tree be old as the town itself." No, it doesn't. It says, "This beloved tree." He is oldie as the town itself. -y. Uh, you know what? I feel like this is a great spot. How did we do this before? For a photo. Uh, how about? That one, that looks good, okay. Can I zoom out a bit? I kind of want to get more of the tree in it. Okay. There we go, perfect. Okay, retake, no, I just want to save it just like that. Oh, man, that's really fun. That is super fun. So we've got two more people to meet. What do we have here? There's whispering. What is that? I feel like a cauldron Something over spooky there. Something and weird is going on here. It's okay, Tara. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm sure of it. All right, so maybe we should go back to... Is here more Mandrake? Yeah. More Mandrake is here. That that That's how you say words. I don't remember which of these is the general store. But I do think going to the general store is a good idea. 
We were supposed to go there, and I probably am too late. It looks like all these people are closing up. Let's see. Does it does it mark where the general store is? No, but it looks like all the shopping is either here or here. Okay, so there's the butcher. This must be the general store. Are you open? Uh, Monday through Wednesday. So they're closed Thursday and Sunday. So they'll be open tomorrow morning. I think. Let me just double check that. Yeah, okay, they are. Hey, there's Violet. What's up? Wait, don't, don't you want to talk? Did you want to have a conversation? No? All right. All right. She did not want to have a conversation at all. And, oh, here's the bar. All right, the bar opens at 6. I, you know what? There is a case to be made for hanging around and going to the bar at 6. Like, there's a new person right there. I think. Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How is your grandmother doing? She's... She well, sounds very political. To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. All right. There's one person left. I think that's Kim. Who we've already met and apparently cannot say anything else to. Can I play darts or going back? We've already met this dude. And I'm fairly certain we've met her. I don't think I can talk to anybody unless I haven't talked to them yet. Maybe we'll just zip into the bar real quick just to see if maybe I'm I'm missing something. The bar was like the place to go in Stardew and in Coral Island to meet people. Have I met this dude? What's up? Oh yeah, we've met him. Uh, okay. He doesn't have anything to say, I guess, but we could buy stuff from him. We could buy a drink. I don't really want any of those. We could sell any of these that we don't have. All right. I guess we're leaving. All right. Let's go back home. I think, like, I set the uh, the day speed on relaxed. I think I'm going to go ahead and change that to normal and see how that goes. Because it seems like time was passing awfully slowly. You know, I was able to get things done. Uh, all right. Where? Here we go. Potatoes will take a while to grow. Keep oh, watering them all right. every day. So it looks like I don't really have much else I can do. Does she have a television? No. Can I read her book? No. All right. Well, I'm going to go explore a little bit then. Whoa. What do we have here? You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. 
No, no, it's fine. I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. I gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. All right. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all his tools right here. So this must be where the crafting Thanks, element Grandma. of the game comes in. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but I'll try for us. All right. Let's give it a shot. What could we do? A paper press, a candle maker, a fermentation barrel, or a juice press. Okay. Uh, presses wood into paper. What do you do? Uh, okay. Beeswax out of soy milk, uh, beeswax or animal fat. Okay. What about the juice press? Extracts juices and oils from raw fruits and veggies. And okay. So this just requires wood. So let's go grab some wood and build a paper press. I'm guessing that this is our stamina, and I really have not, I have barely lost any stamina today. I mean, I guess I haven't really done a whole lot. Well, I don't have an ax, so I guess all I can really do is look for like little pieces of wood that have fallen on the ground. Even these are, are too big. So maybe I can't build one of those yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more of those little sticks. And I don't think I can just rip one of these little mini trees out of the ground. It looks like you can kind of click to move also. Or just hold down the mouse button. I kind of prefer WASD. What do we have over here? All right. Weed and thistle, very good. I guess I'm gonna need an axe to be able to to bring that down. Maybe there's some more more little pieces of wood in this area I can pick up. I don't recall seeing any because I'd have picked them up. It has a really cute little art style. I, I, I'm kind of liking it. Can I talk to Kim? Nope. I apparently cannot talk to Kim. She's not at all interested in conversation. I don't think anybody is until I finish this quest. Is there anyone in here that I haven't met yet? No. I have met all of those people. It's 11 p.m. I maybe should probably be getting to sleep. My experience in like Stardew or Coral Island has taught me anything. It's that you got to get to bed at a reasonable time. So we will run in here. And Grandma is already asleep. I'm guessing this is our room. Oh, am I ready for bed? Yes, Tara. I think so. Is this the, the 22nd person? Whoa. The 22nd person looks a bit like a Marvel superhero. Okay. So the person who is potentially the 22nd person is named Raven. And she's grouchy because she can't open the thorny gate thing. Okay. Grandma has a little quest for us, or so it would seem.
Are we having mushroom soup for breakfast? Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. I liked how it sort of flew across sure the table. You're sure had the right number of uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth. Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help, if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. I Nights have some. It's cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying oh, around the Oh, she's going to give me an axe. Chop them up for me and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Oh, you'll need this to get started. <laughs> All right, so we did get two things of cream of mushroom soup. Yum. Uh, mushroom soup made from grandma's recipe. A great way to top off your enemy can enemy energy. Can also be sold to Sophia. Hooray. All right, so we need to chop up some logs. We need to chop two and get six pieces of wood for grandma. You got it. Can do... I'm guessing that I have the axe now. Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. Okay, I will. But, all right, there's a little visitor person here, but I'm going to be watering them. Yeah, we need to water the taters. All right. What do you got for me? It's me, Parker, again. I stopped by just like I promised. How are you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself ten years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy <laughs> right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Uh, sure. Why not? Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Yes. Great. Yes, follow I me. do. Okay, we are going to follow Parker. The little noise it makes when, like, the little bubble pops up, the little boop noise... I'm not that I'm not the biggest fan of that. I mean they've gotta have some noise, but in this particular quest where you know we're kind of following him and it's popping up and going away. Popping up and going away. Popping up and going away. That's that's not great. Alright, Parker, are we are we there yet? If you're watching this on YouTube today, uh, I'll put a link in the uh, comments where you can find more information about this game on Steam. I know that it's on sale right now. I, I actually checked it before I, I started it. Okay. We will go to Lena's. There you and we'll are. Sell and you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Awesome. She also has candy. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again. <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. All right. So, we're going to buy some seeds. We could buy more potato seeds. We could buy green bean seeds. Or we could buy flour. Actually, you know what? Let's, can we sell anything? We could sell our bananas. All right. She doesn't, that didn't unlock anything else yet. But we will buy some green bean seeds. Uh, I don't know. Um, four? 
Okay, let's go back home and plant them. Wait, could I go this way? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, there's the butcher, and we're just west of the butcher. So things to do. We want to throw our new seeds in here. How about our green bean seeds? And then we'll water them. Fantastic. Green bean seeds should be growing uh, as, as time goes on. We did want to go and get some wood now. Here we go. Oh, wait. I don't especially care for this part. The mechanic for chopping stuff down and like having to hit it once, wait for it to come back up and hit it again. I'm not thrilled about that. I might be a little spoiled by Coral Island in that though. I think we were supposed to get, yeah, one more of these and that's too long stopped. I'm going to get a little more wood, though. Oh, wow. Maybe I'm not. Look at all this stamina we've already used. I'm all out of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength or try again tomorrow. Let's eat some soup. We have soup. That's exactly what it's for. Eat. I like that it says it's vegan. All right. All right. I wanted to get a little extra so we could make that paper pressing machine. Okay. Oh, that wood looks yeah, nice and dry. Yeah, you are very welcome. Ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. Yeah, that but just about happened to me. there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. Oh, that's nice. It'll fix you right up. Okay, don't wear yourself out. Eat something from your bag to get some energy back. Awesome. So we're still, we're still waiting to meet one person. Let's uh let's go kind of on a walk about here and see who we run into. We've already met this oh wait, will they talk to me again now? All right. Oh, nope. Hello again. Hi. You know, you don't see many blacksmiths these days. Yeah, I know. Well, my great grandpa was a blacksmith, so I guess you could say it runs in the family. Of course he died before I was born. But it's his hammer I've got. That's really cool. So your family taught you? Oh, nah, I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's harder work than sitting at a desk, but it's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see. Okay, what does she... I think we've already looked at what she had to, to buy and sell, and none of it was anything we wanted. Okay. 
it also looks like talking to people multiple times pays off. Let's see, is there is there anybody in? Oh wait, what did that say? Uh, Angus and Francis live there. I don't know that we've met Francis. Let's see. Oh, we have met Francis. Okay. Okay. And then Sophia and Juliet live there. Okay. What is the map tell? Oh, bulletins. Oh. Okay. So there's little quests you could get here. I love cooking with fresh mushrooms, but I'm on, run off my feet. Can you help? Non-poisonous mushrooms only, please. Sure. Uh, and then I need wood to build quality scaffolding. After all, safe construction is good construction. So he needs 30 and we have 13. Okay. I think those are enough quests to take for now. We'll say hi to Violet. So, I run the flower shop here in town if you ever need anything. <laughs> wow. It's such a coincidence with you being named Vi Yeah, yeah. And Violet. having a purple flower. hair. It's hilarious. <laughs> Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but I can set my own hours. I like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school. That's so nice. How old is the little guy? 16. But he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay? I like Violet. I think she's cool. All right, they're the little kids. We Wait a minute. My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. Huh. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> we just got an achievement I'm for having met all of hey, the residents Juliet. of Fairhaven. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. All right. Juliet is awesome. You can tell that she is a real, a, a, a real people person. Is he closed? 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right. It Oh, it's after 5. Wow. The day really got away from me. We'll say hi to Sophia. Juliet told me you said hello to her. Thank you. That girl is so shy. Well, teenagers have a lot going through their heads. It's no wonder some of them deal by just not talking. The way she said so that makes me think she's maybe like... Helped. Maybe late teens or early 20s for Tara? Or or is she maybe younger? What do, I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, we did need to get 17 more uh, pieces of wood. I'm all out of strength. Oh, man, I I'm could all eat out some of strength. food to recover some strength or try again tomorrow. All right, I want to bring down at least this tree. So let's let's eat that. Yum. OK, all better. All right, that's four. I maybe have enough to chop up like a log or two on the ground. And then we'll wrap up. Then we'll turn in for the night, I mean. Or, well, here we can pick up a rock. All right. I think that's it. We definitely don't have the strength to cut that down. 
I mean, it's only like seven, but I think we're going to call it a night. I think we're going to go go to sleep. Oh, what does she have? See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low and then you're right as rain. For a while, we still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But, Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia <laughs> put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. Okay. Uh, what did we get? We got more soup. That's awesome. So we need to get rice and a couple more mushrooms, and we'll make mushroom risotto. Awesome. We can do that. Uh, but for now, we're going to sleep. Time for bed. Yes, it is indeed time for bed. No cutscene tonight. So Raven, the evil person, is not going to be doing anything. Oh no, she has allergies. Are your allergies acting up? Oh no, it's all the dust in the front room. <laughs> But sweeping makes my back ache, so I've turned a blind eye for no months now. But that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Then would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door? There's to a sweep broom in my too? room you can use. Oh, you wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. Whoa, is that an actual trap door? Jeez, Grandma, what are you keeping down there? My children. So, the trap door under the rug. Hmm? What is it for? Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Will you be out and about tonight? Probably, but I... Could you fetch me some moonflower? It only blooms after sunset. You'll know it by the white oh, blossoms. All right. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. I, at my <laughs> age, it's awfully hard to yeah, hear Yeah, I feel like you things. are too, Tara. Did you... Put the rug back in place. Yes, Grandma, but... Uh, but are you brewing moonshine down there? You can tell me if you're brewing moonshine. Mm, I can already taste that tea. That was normal. All right. Uh, okay, so we need to go get a moonflower, but they only bloom after uh, sundown. And then we will also water the potatoes and the beans. It is almost painless having to do that. So I do like that part. Mocha, no. All right. Things to do today. We have a, uh, a quest. Oh, we can go and turn that in. Let's do that first. And then we want to get some more. We need to get a lot of mushrooms. So maybe we do that first because the mushrooms are like right here. Or at least they were last time. Well, maybe they aren't anymore. It didn't look like they respawned or anything. We can grab this thistle. So we'll have to go and see if we find mushrooms anywhere else. Maybe we're over in the creepy forest. We'll swing by the mayor's office on the way.
Let's see. There's the mayor. Wonderful. The last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced. It was that As promised, kid. here is your reward for playing our little game. Is it we a lot of money? helped you acclimatize. <laughs> Not Thanks. very much uh, money at all. Money's great too, though. Okay. Let's Do see. you ask every new resident to play the meet everyone game? Oh, yes. After all, that idea won me third place in the icebreaker innovation category at the annual mayoral convention. Congratulations. Oh, hush. It's hardly worth mentioning. Okay. We'll see you later, weirdo. Say hi to Violet. Hey, Violet. Can I ask you about Marisoft's getting to know you game? It's so creepy, right? My dad totally didn't make people do that when he was mayor. Otto made a lot of changes since he took office, but he's mayor at least until this fall, for better or worse. Oh, isn't that interesting? Okay, well, here's the school. All right, and then this is Parker's little construction thing. And now we're into the forest. There we go, mushrooms. Here's the messenger. What? What's up? You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did. But I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the I kind of want to know what the town. league is all about. Before I knew it, I had four new members. All right. Well, we've got to get mushrooms and stuff, so we won't talk to him anymore today. Or at least not just now. Here, well, what, is, what does Shelby have to say? Hold on. I know what you must be thinking. Why does old Shelby live in the woods? Oh, well, it's, it's really pretty and it, it's quiet. Don't patronize me, Missy. Truth is... There are riches here the untrained eye can't see. You bring me forageables, and I'll pay you fairly for your troubles. I don't mind helping you out. You don't have to pay me. <laughs> I'm a hermit, not a pauper. Don't need charity from no one. My bones may be getting old, but my mind's as sharp as a... Mm, as, I, as sharp as, as, sharp as, a, sharp as thing. a... Attack? Don't interrupt. Young folks these days. No respect for their elders. I kind of like Shelby. All right, what do we have that we might sell him? Uh, okay, sell. We could sell him a couple thistle. We'll, we'll just sell two. And, and that mandrake, feel like that's going to have a use. What, what do you have to... Our mandrake is going to have a use, I mean. I could also shell conch shells, seashells, or pine cones. I don't recall having seen... Oh, there's peanuts. I need a lot of peanuts. It's 11.20 a.m. We still need a lot of mushrooms. I, I mean, given the amount of bugs we're seeing... I can only assume that catching bugs is going to be a thing. And fishing, obviously, is going to be a thing. All right, is this the, give me the same thing? Yeah. Something spook. Okay. Yep. We've already we've already investigated that. All right, let's see. How are we doing for mushrooms? We've got three. So we could go and we could just buy the rice and then we could make the risotto for our grandmother. I feel like that's the thing to do. Okay, 
There's the butcher, and then the jeweler, and then I think that the I think the Lena's is down here. Yeah, the butcher, and then the general. Nope, that's the bar. The general store is on the other side of the butcher. Okay. Uh, we want to buy uh, some rice. Okay, so these are all out of season. Fair enough. What could we sell? They have... They're not interested in purchasing anything that we have. You know what? I probably should have actually talked to her. Hi, are you settling in okay? I'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the folks here are a little <laughs> more overwhelming than others. <laughs> All right. I like that some of them are more overwhelming than others. That's very funny. All right. So let's go back to the house. And we will make the risotto for grandmother. And then maybe cut up a little more. Uh... Oh, no, we shouldn't cut up wood because I don't want to get too worn out. Because uh, at night, we need to go and... What was it that we're going to get? Some kind of moon blossoms for tea. Do I need to go and make them first? I better not just yet. Okay. I think I have everything we need. Oh, now I was just I've supposed written to bring down the, the recipe ingredients? Here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. All right. What is that? You'll need to go to the wood oh, section. Oh, okay. That's that thing. Okay. Awesome. Let's go make it. No. Oh, out of the way. We're cooking. Uh Oh, we have a lot of things we can make. We can make sushi and sugar and coconut rice i guess if we got sugar cane we could this is really neat all right mushroom risotto how about that all right now be like hey here is your mushroom risotto. here you go grandma here's your mushroom risotto oh, in thank a bag you, honey bee. it smells wonderful but you made enough for yourself, I hope. I hope so. Did I? I mean, did I make enough for... Do I have some? No, but I have plenty of soup. Maybe we go uh, beat up some trees here for a little. We can get some more wood. Then we can uh, maybe turn in that quest. Wonder if it's anything like the bridge quest in Stardew. Where you have to turn in, I think for that one, you have to turn in like 300 wood. How are we doing on wood here? 27. I mean, that's just a few more. Find Is there a small tree kicking around that we... I think these have three in them, don't they? Yep, it is. Alright, that's 30. Alright, who was it? Oh, it's Parker. I wonder if Parker is... I'll bet if he's not at his shop... It's after five, so he's not going to be at his shop. I'll bet he's at the bar. And I'm, I'm not judging that. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that I think there's a fair chance that's where he is. Ooh, the mushroom there. And thistle. And some wood. Okay, that's not bad. All 
All right, so seven o'clock. There's the bar. And no, he's not there. Well, we'll talk to people. We'll so talk to Kim and Kai. So you moved here to help out on Hazel's farm? Do you know anything about farming? Not even a little bit. Well, oh, I mean, we're kind of learning. I'd only worked in my parents' kitchen before opening my own butcher. I mean, you've at least had a garden or potted plants before, right? Not really. Oh. Well, good luck. Oh, what's all this then? Your you know, grandma up? was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had. But how Oops. can you see I fish if they're underwater? <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Uh, um, potatoes? Here, take this rod. Oh, excellent. Keep your eyes peeled whenever you're near water for the shadows of swimming fish. When you see them near the surface like that, you know they're feeding. Trick is to get one of them to nibble on your hook instead of the bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Hey, you're Yikes. not the squeamish type, are you? You gotta hook your bait and cast your line. You'll feel when you got one and then reel it in. Wait, wait, wait. Back up. How do I cast my line? <laughs> You'll get the hang of it. The lake in the woods is a nice place to start. All right, so uh, I'm going to have to get care, worms also. Don't go in those woods after sunset. I've seen things, well, you wouldn't believe me. My boy Otto didn't need it till he saw it for himself. Just stay safe and come back and see me after you've given it a few tries. All right, so we have a, a fishing quest now. That's awesome. Bruno, we're going to go, uh, I mean, it's after sundown. So I say we go check out that uh, forest and see if we can find those moon blooms or whatever they were. Moon blossoms. That's it. Yeah, there's Parker's right there. Okay, there we go. Into the creepy forest. That must be the one right here. Oh, kitty cat. Uh, he hello? Who's there? Well. I probably shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. No, I think you absolutely should. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me. I'm coming. Grandma. Whoa. Where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Ah, it's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice. Until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles, then people become mobs. Well, I wonder I if any of these Tara people are like regular so she could townies. Skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is. So you think your intuition was right then? She has the gift? When will she be ready to join us? Join them? You hear something? Uh oh. Run away. Wait until morning to ask Grandma about the woods. Okay, that sounds good. But also... Pet the kitty! And then pet the kitty again. Oh, such a good cat. Okay. It does look like there's kind of diminishing returns. For petting the kitty cat. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back home. Maybe when we're back on the farm, we'll see about chopping up a little wood. Just to get more. There was that paper press we were going to make. What is this guy doing out here at this time of night? If you ever have extra baked goods to sell, let me know. I'm always happy to mix things up for my customers. 
Okay, thanks, Angus. We'll see you around. Everyone being voiced is really neat. I like that a lot. Like, that's something in Coral Island that, you know, no one is... is no one's voiced, and I, I still really like Coral Island, but I, that would be really cool if it did have some more voice acting in it. All right, let's get to sleep. Time for bed. Yes, it is indeed. <sighs> All right, Thursday morning. No cutscene. We have a very interesting conversation with our grandmother coming up. Okay. This is going to be a weird talk. Okay, so first off... <laughs> Grandma, I've been, um... I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay, I'm on it. All right, so uh, we need to make a compost bin and then we'll move forward from there. All right, but this is the really, this is the big question right Grandma, here. So uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma. Oh, yes, some tea would really hit the spot. Do we have like a recipe for it? Or is that is that one that we're just going to find over at the, the oven here? Here we go. We've got plenty. Thistle and moonflower. Okay, here's your tea. Talk. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, you make a very potent brew. Here's that key to the basement that you asked about. But the hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. Okay, see what lies beneath the trapdoor under the rug. You bet I will. That sounds great. I'm not quite sure what happened. Oh, we're rolling up the rug. Okay, I got it. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh, Is that a cauldron? Not just any cauldron. Your cauldron. What? Oh, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes, you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Oh, that's, wait, wait. That's fun. Is Dad a witch or, 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 or warlock or... Arthur? Oh, no. Oh, no, honeybee. He's more conventional. I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall. So you'll oh, need a wand neat. to open I it. I am excited about this part. <laughs> this is, uh... Kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, 
Read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. Okay, read the incantation Grandma gave you while standing next to the silver willow tree in the woods. Sounds great. We'll do it. What do we have over here? Can we build things there? Distillery? A device that extracts essences and distillations required for many potions and some drinks. A device for crushing raw ingredients. Use it for making dyes. That's fantastic. I am excited. Oh, okay. I really like my little my little sanctum. Okay. We haven't watered plants yet today, so let's do that. Water the taters. And then we'll go water the beans. What what sort of thing is this? This is for building other stuff. Garden bed, a compost bin. What do we need for that? Bam, we'll make that now. Build. Uh. Okay, what is? Uh oh. Okay, that that just sort of disintegrated it, or that destroyed it. Okay. Can I move it around? Oh, I can. I mean, I guess like. I guess that's fine. Okay. Now, what do I have to do here? Uh, soil. Do I just get it? Oh, I have to put two weeds in it. Okay, craft. Okay, it takes 24 hours. All right, that's fine. Let's see. What else did we want to... So we can't get in. It doesn't look like we can get in there yet. It looks like that's still blocked. I want to take wood to Parker today. We've only got 28, though, so let's make, let's grab some more. Here we go. All right. We will take this to Parker now. I'm gonna go around this way and see if any more of those uh, mushrooms have spawned. Yep, there's one. I think I see another one. You know, grab a rock. So we've had no inventory issues. So I think that my my hypothesis about inventory in this is right. Inventory is just not a thing or inventory issues are just not a thing. And after playing a lot of other cozy games where inventory was just the kind of thing that made you want to pull your hair out. That's a nice change. Okay, we will take the wood to Parker here. This is quality stuff. I don't know how I'll make it up to you, Tara. You could, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess you can't do anything. Hey, Parker, quick question. Did the mayor oh, make we... you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well, Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. Okay, that's actually useful. All right. Vegetable patch, tool shed. I don't think we need any of those right now. Okay, we'll see you later, Parker. Hey, this is, what is she doing out here? So, how are your parents? Oh, um, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Doll. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? Yikes. Awkward. Very, very awkward. All right, so we are looking for 
There's a, a silver willow tree, I think. All right, so that doesn't open for me yet. Maybe it's this tree. I think that these are what willows look like. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. The inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? Wow! I, I mean, uh, uh, thanks, magic tree. Basic wand. How about that? All right. I want to go turn some people into toads and stuff. I wonder if I could fish here. I can. All right. Here we go. We'll use the worm. Okay. I wonder what fishing is like in this game. Bum, 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 bum. I like that she's kind of just, you know, humming. <gasps> Reel it in now. Got one. Okay, so it's pretty easy. All right, salt to Bruno or cook with it. Gross. Can we do? Can we do more? Okay. So I'm gonna have to get more bait, I guess. Is that another one of those? Yep, it is. All right, we will try uh, one more, I think. There's like one other kind of fish in there, the larger purple one. I want to catch that one. <gasps> Got one. There we go, the larger purple one, as advertised. An epic catch. Sell it or cook with it. Gross. All right. Tell Bruno you've been fishing. I'm going to do that. I also might walk around and see if there's any more uh, mushrooms to be had. Lena, it's kind of weird that you're just out here, you know, in the creepy woods. I wonder if Lena is part of the co coven. Because, like, all those people had masks on. I mean, they absolutely could just be regular townies. It's a kitty. Hey there, kitty. All right. I like that it just calls it Strange Cat. Oh, hey, wait, we haven't talked to this person in a while. This is the mayor's wife, I think. Good to see you again. Hi. Have you seen the notice board in front of Town Hall? There are always lots of ways to help out in the community. Okay, Vanessa, thanks. Uh, yes, I have. Oh, yes, I saw it. Wonderful. I'm sure your neighbors will appreciate you lending a hand whenever you can. Okay, um, maybe we'll have another look. Here, we'll talk to Violet again. I place a monthly oh. order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Oh, Make damn. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Bad time? Ugh. No. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor... The fairy always ran on time. Violet, you hey, should run for mayor. Do you have any wildflowers growing on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of? How do you feel about thistles? You're suggesting I make a bouquet out of thistles? Thistles? Oh, look, if you don't want them, did you hear me say no? The sooner I can get Vanessa out of my hair, the better. Okay, uh, so I need one more. All right, I'm going to go get that for you. Don't you worry. I am on the job, Violet.
Okay, we've got to see if there's more thistles around so we can turn that in for Violet. There we go, right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that to her, and then we'll come back and turn in. Actually, I'll bet she's closed. Yeah, I think she bet. I think she is. So let's go and turn in the quest with the wand. I like that this is pretty quest driven. And it has like a real story to it. I I dig that. Uh, which one is this? Great job. Oh, now okay, we yeah. just need to fill it with weeds and let it work its magic. I did that. Then we can it. start making garden beds. Okay. And also, I got my wand. Is your wand ready? Yes. Look. Careful where you point that thing. Oh, my. You have a lot to learn. Okay. It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Uh, yeah. You bet. Sure. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through, so this incantation helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. Read the incantation Grandma gave you while standing next to the bramble gate in the woods. All right. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Oh, it worked! Well done. Now, let's head on up. <sighs> Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh, shh, shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Okay. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. <laughs> Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? You bet. Sure. Absolutely. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the <laughs> Farseer over yonder. He will explain the art of incantations. Okay. We have been rewarded with uh, boost harvest potion recipe. Cool. All right, yes, let's go speak. To, I want to learn some incantations. I think that's this guy. Are you the Farseer? What? Yes, yes, Farseer, that's me. No, I'm nearsighted. Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like... You've no idea who I am. I'm wearing a mask. Listen, <laughs> you want to sit here playing guessing games? All right, or do you so they are learn more magic? Magic. Great. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up. And there won't be much left of you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions now. Listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. Ooh. <laughs> 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 One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. All right. So... 
that paper press that I talked about, we are gonna have to build that after all. Okay. I mean, do we need to talk to her again? The Acolyte was the last witch initiated into our order. She can help guide you. I don't know which one that is. I welcome you to this gathering. Oh, okay. Well, it's not you. Hey, you can call me the Acolyte. It's nice to meet you, but I'm not supposed to speak to you much yet. She has a lot of purple effects on her mask. What if that's violet? Okay, do I, am I, am I done? Let's, let's talk to grandma. Can we? No, I'm going to assume we're done. And then we need to go chop down wood. Oh. This stuff is great for tea. Apparently. The kitty. I wonder if the kitty is going to be hey like, there, you know, kitty. witches always have like a black cat. I wonder if the, that is going to be my my witch's kitty. How neat would that be? Let's uh, chop this one down. How much wood do I have? I think I needed six to make that press. And that is six right there. Although I, I probably am gonna need wood to make into paper. So maybe I should, maybe I should knock down a couple more here. I'm all out of strength. Oh. I could eat some food to recover some strength or try again tomorrow. Let's just have some food. All right. Okay, it's getting late. I understand. I'll go home. That was pretty exciting. I I like the whole uh I like the whole witchcraft thing. That's that's going to be neat. That is a neat thing to add. That's a neat spin. All right, I do want to cut down, or if I can, I mean, I got a little bit of stamina left. If I can just cut one of these logs, maybe. All right. There we go. Now we'll call it a night. I, I know, I get it. I should be in bed now. So tired. I know, so tired. Go to sleep. <sighs> Go to sleep, Tara. <sighs> oh, good. You're up. The mayor's called a town meeting this morning. We should get down there and see what he's making a fuss about this time. Do you think it's some kind of trouble? Ah, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. Follow Grandma to town hall for a meeting. All right. I guess I have to stay close or she's not going to. I better to... follow Grandma to the town hall. Yeah, it's not going to let me pick up stuff on the way. Can I just run ahead of her? It does look like it. Okay, I don't have to just hang around behind her. I could just go there. I think it's... Is it down here? Uh, no, it's not.
Settle down, everyone. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings oh, on no. in our beloved town of Fairhaven. There is a force at work in our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. A witch! Oh, I don't Fair like hair. where this is going. Me yeah, neither. me neither, Grandma. I've seen strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah. And folks in robes and masks wandering around after sunset. Yes! Yes, good. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this. No matter the cause, we must ensure our town doesn't become a home for roustabouts and, and unsavory types. types. I ask all of you to keep a sharp eye out for signs of mischief. And if you see anything, Report it to me. Or me, if you'd prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I never. Mayor Otto, soft on business. <laughs> soft in the head is more like it. Him and his fancy britches wife standing up there and casting judgment on others. Uh-oh. You're even madder than I thought. <laughs> He can't just tell people to spy on their neighbors, to be so afraid that they distrust everyone around them. Maybe we could cast a goodwill spell to make everyone be nice to each other? I wish it were that simple. But just because you can solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due, and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here, take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. Are these magic beans? <laughs> oh, heavens no. <laughs> but if you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, I mean, I could, but... Uh, Grandma wants you to grow green beans to help Thomas meet an order. Well, I mean, we are growing some. So are we does she want us to grow more at, like at our place? I guess I am going to have to build another. Uh, what do you call it? The, the little garden bed things where you um, plant stuff. I forget what they're called. Can I get? Oh, I can. I can get farm. Uh, I can get soil out of here now. Okay, so now I need to get more more weeds. I have to go harvest more. And I guess I should probably water the plants here as well. All right. We want another garden bed. All right, we don't have enough to make any more, but we can don't throw pack some... the soil too tight. Now you'll choke the seedlings. Oh, hello, Thomas. I didn't hear you. That's because I don't wear big clumpy boots like you city folk. Anyway. <clears throat> Not a bad effort for your first plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well, she's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds. Okay. Let's get, um, boy, we have a lot of green bean seeds. And we will water them. I think that these potatoes, are they done? Are they ready? Uh, no, not yet. One day remaining. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. Not at all. Okay. So we need more wood. The wood is going to be like a driving factor of my a lot of my work or so it would seem we'll take that all right 
right, how much do I have now? How much wood do I have? I have six, and I think I need ten. But I also need to find some weeds so we can make... There, I see some weeds over there. Some more soil. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more... Uh... Some more weeds. There we go. Awesome. We will throw those in the little compost bin. All right. So tomorrow we'll have that. And we are... Okay. How many did we need to make the thing? I think it was six. But we should probably make that paper press. Okay, paper press. Oh, yeah. Build. We'll just put it, like, way back here in the corner. All right. Now then. Uh, okay, what is this? I want to make paper. Awesome. I think that was probably just one piece. It was. So I need more wood. I think that I will have enough to make that second sheet of paper now. I do kind of like how she can, like, jump over stuff like that. I think that's cute. Uh, okay. More paper. Oh, you could just have it make two. Very nice. We'll just make one, though. Okay. So, we have enough for that. We could go to the Farseer. What other little quests do we have right now? Uh, we still got to do that. We could go to Bruno and turn in that. Oh, and we wanted to take the flowers to uh, Violet. We'll do that first. So Violet and then I don't know where Bruno hangs out. I mean, I kind of at least know that Violet's probably going to be at her store. There we go. So, anything I can put in my bouquets? Yes. Stress no more, I found just the thing. See? They're pretty. Yes. Those will do nicely. <sighs> it's hard sometimes. Filling all these orders to decorate the house I grew up in. Whoa, does the mansion go with the job? Yep. Anyway, thanks. You saved my butt. Ooh, and we could grow tulips. Hooray. That is great. Okay, does she have anything we could buy? We could buy um, seeds. Well, she gave us a bunch of tulips there. So I, I think we're all right. We could sell. She doesn't want any of the stuff we have. So we'll just take off. See you later, Violet. Oh, hey, we have a... Okay, it looks like Violet is really getting to know Terra. Keep an eye out for her around the island at different times and something special might happen. Really now? Okay. Oh, that kid looks sad. Here, we'll talk to him. Hazel is a dope old lady. You're lucky having a grandma like that. What? Not a big fan of your own grandparents? Um, my mom's parents died when I was little. And my dad's parents can't visit much because of visa problems. Oh, I'm sorry for bringing it up. No, it's, it's cool. Hazel's the communal grandma. Uh, that's neat. I mean, the, his situation isn't neat, but it's neat that, like, Hazel is there for, you know, all the kids. I think that's nice. All right. 
Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so I met everyone in town and reported back to Otto. So, is he super into keeping tabs on everyone? More than the last mayor, I guess. But strange things do happen here sometimes. Things you can't really explain. We gotta look out for one another. Alright, and he, he didn't have anything that I wanted. Alright, we'll see you later, Parker. I don't know what else. Oh, hey, there's Grandma. You know what? Let's go and see the Farseer. Also, take that and that. What are these? Or is this where... Oh, that's where the uh, those little moon blossoms actually grow. Okay. Oh, they aren't here yet. Can I can I harvest any of this stuff? All right, I've poked around a lot. I don't know when they show up. I should probably figure out what their timetable is. It's the kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. All right. It's after seven. It just played that little noise, and there they are. Okay, we'll go to the farseer and give him pieces of paper. Just what we need. Hang on to those and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations of spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Cool. What do I need to do? I like your spirit. The next step is obvious. Time for you to go fishing. Wait, what? Ah, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. Oh, gross. I've been hankering for calamari for days now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. So I think this is Bruno. I am the best way the I know how. Pay the attention. Fisherman. Go get me those squid. Okay. So, we're going fishing near the beach. Oh, hey, what's what's up? You did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch. But actually writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. The coven cauldron is where we leave offerings for the wellspring, the source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a coven is to maintain the wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it then we put in. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, you'll need your own. Go on and offer something to the Wellspring. Over time, you'll learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Try different things and see what happens. Okay. Give an offering to the wellspring. Don't go near the standing stones. Our coven has kind of a bad history with them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's try um, a toadstool. Wow. 
Whoa. So now I can cast spells? Cool. Careful. We must never draw more magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron, and we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay, I will. Good girl. Now, you'd better get to work on writing your first incantation. I've, I've got to go get squid for that. Okay, so here, what? Uh, I want to keep the mushrooms. What about a peanut? I wonder if this is how much it gives you. Like, if what if I say I'll give it all the peanuts? So this is like my mana, I think. And I get it by donating things to the Wellspring. All right. Kitty. All right, so this kitty oh, is always girl. around the coven. So they've got to be related in some way. All right, we're, we're going to continue on. Grab some more wood. I mean, I don't know how I get worms. I wonder if I'm going to have to talk to Bruno and see about buying them. I'm going to stick my head in the bar. Hey, so my mom says your grandma's sick, and that's why you came here. Yeah, I came back to take care of her. That's nice. I visited my Nona in Italy when she got sick, too. Well, technically, she was my dad's Nona. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At uh. least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. Okay, we had a little chat with Juliet. That was nice. I think that the bar is down a level. There we go. Oh, that's for her mushrooms, which I don't Last have Last night, it took me an hour to find Juliet, and I found her just sitting by the lake, drawing. She didn't realize it was 10 p.m. already. <sighs> that girl. She was born with a call over her face. Did you know that? Worrying me from the moment she came into this world. Okay. I, so Bruno is not in here, the fishing guy. And that is the, I'm guessing, the bell that's telling me you should be thinking about going to bed now. So we will run on back to our house and get to sleep. Is there any, no, I think I'd probably be. I mean, I kind of want to go down there and see Should what I, I can do. Should I go to bed? Yes. It's nearly eleven thirty. All right. I think we will get through Saturday here, and then I'm gonna wrap up. But I do think I'm gonna come back to this game. I'm really having a lot of fun with it. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chat with her right now. It looks like the potatoes are ready to be harvested. All right. Now we can plant something else. Uh, how about more beans? Uh-oh.
Oh, these are done. All right. We're growing more beans. How about we try carrots? Can I collect this now? Nope, not yet. It'll be ready in five hours, ten minutes. If we could go to wherever Bruno is, we could turn in that one quest. Maybe we could find another mushroom. And then we could turn that in to Sophia. This is where we found them last time. Yep, there we go. And a thistle, too. We'll grab that also. All right, so we need to talk to Bruno. We need to talk to Sophia. The farming in this is very, like, low maintenance and, and not difficult. And I, I kind of like that. After, like, Coral Island and... Um, and Palea, it's sort of nice to have farming that is just very chill. Wait, there's a lot of mushrooms around. That's great. She's probably at her at her diner, right? I guess the diner is down one level. Oh, there's Bruno. Outstanding. Wonderful. You got the look of a lifelong angler in your eyes now. <laughs> oh, now here's a real challenge. Catching a certain fish is about the right bait, the right place, and luck. I got a hankering for some nice, fresh striped sea bass. They're ocean fish, so you gotta go to the beach. They might go for a worm, but you'll have better luck with this. In the future, you can keep bait fish you catch to try and hook bigger and more valuable fish. Come back when you caught one. Okay. So we have to catch a sea bass and a, uh, what do you call it? A squid. Okay, what do we have here? I guess those are bait fish. Maybe I should buy a couple. Recipes for fish fans. Um, I don't think I'm going to spell that much or spell spend that much on it. What could I send to sell to him? Oh, he'll buy these. Uh, here. That's great. Okay. Now, it was the, the ocean near Thomas's. I guess must be down here. Here we go. All right, let's see if let's see if we can get a squid. None of those things look like squids. Oh, quick. Okay, I'll wait for the bigger fish to bite. Okay. All right, is this the one? Um, all right.
right, was that the one we needed? It was! All right. I am going to go take that back to him, but I, I want to see if there's a squid somewhere. All right, this doesn't look like a squid here. Tuna, gross. All right. Ooh, there we go. Maybe it's across the bridge? There's like a flower we could grab there too. Witch weed. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I have her mushroom thing. Oh, I know just how I'll use this. It's perfect. Okay. Have you met Violet and Sebastian? <laughs> They're the sweetest kids and way too independent given their age. Since Gloria disappeared, I give them as much free food as they want, but I don't want to mother them too much. I wonder if, uh, I wonder what happened to Violet's mom. Okay. Is there a fishing area like around here? There is. There's also, look at all this stuff we could just grab. Oh, it's a neat view. Okay, we'll try one of our bait fish. None of those look like squid either though. Okay, I don't want the little one. Oh, quick! Ha, gotcha. A sturgeon. Gross. All right. I can't see those as well as I can see the others. Quick! Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Havoc! Sell it to Bruno or cook with it. Gross! Alright. Let me see if it, like, says... Catch a squid. Uh, okay. Show hint. Try using a chub is okay. So they are, it is on the beach. Maybe, maybe you should go to the other side. And they did say, I think they did mention Thomas's place, which is right there. No, no, I don't want the little one. Oh, yeah. oh, that is not... I did not mean to catch him because I think I see something that looks different over there. Dab, ick, yuck. No, I don't want that. That looks different. I think that might be a lobster, though. Well, we're going to try and catch it anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a lobster, which. Ooh, quick! Ooh. 
got one. Oh, it was a squid. Okay. It didn't look very squid-like, but I'm happy. Okay, here's this dude. Oh, I meant to ask you, have you met Parker the carpenter yet? I have. He really helped turn the ruins of the old church into a wonderful new consciousness center for our members. Okay. That's that's great. That's good to know. I wonder if I could make it out to the forest. I'll bet I could. And it's only nine. So we'll go out this way and we'll give the farseer a uh, a squid because he's a weirdo. All right, we're definitely going to pet the kitty on the way out. Finish your lunch. Can we get back to incantations? No, no, these aren't for lunch. You need to make some nice black ink, and squid ink is the best. Uh, you could have said so. I just did. Now, you'll need a desk. Set it up in your sanctum. Ah, that's your basement. You wouldn't want anyone to happen on your half written incantations. Once you've got your ink, there's a couple more things you'll need. Come back here. And I'll give them to you. All right. So they sure do have a lot of requests. You aren't lying. All right. So we can go back and we will build our... We will build the desk in our basement. I do think I am going to come back to this game. I'm really having a good time with it. Here, kitty, kitty. We haven't really explored like what relationships with villagers, you know, what that and you know, how those develop at all. Um, we haven't done a whole lot. I and mean, well, we've done a little bit with farming. I don't know if there's ranching in it or not. I kind of feel like there probably is. They've sort of mentioned it before. So maybe there's a way you could have like cows or chickens or whatever. I'm on my way. I'm almost home. But yeah, I definitely think I'll be coming back to this. I'm really having fun. Uh, as far as what we'll be doing, pause for now, uh, in the uh, near future, tomorrow which is Saturday, the 23rd. I'll be back at Coral Island. That'll be at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. on the East Coast for a couple hours there. And uh, then nothing Sunday, nothing Monday. And Tuesday, we'll be back for more uh, Going Medieval at 5.30 p.m. Pacific and 8.30 on the East Coast. Remember, if you uh, if you miss the stream, if you came in late, this will uh, be over at the Spirit Color Studios YouTube channel. If you're in uh, the Twitch right now, you can just type exclamation point YouTube. It'll give you the address. Or you could just go youtube.com slash spirit color. You'll find it. You'll get there. All of this stuff that I do winds up there 24 hours after the stream. And uh, some of it is pretty darn good. Some of it's pretty darn entertaining. And some of it is... Well, at least entertaining. Uh, I am uh, I am done. You guys enjoy your Friday night. Take care of yourselves. Thank you again so much, and I'll see you next time. So long.